Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine we're going to talk about all the new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of August 6th, 2024. New fiction from Toby Ogunduran, P. Jelly Clark, and T. King Fisher. Fairy tale characters like Cinderella, the Goose Girl, and Beauty and the Beast get fantasy retellings. Gilgamesh makes an appearance and the sun explodes. Stay tuned for details. First up science fiction we have eight titles. From James S. A. Corey, we have The Mercy of Gods, out from Orbit US in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a science fiction space opera novel, the first book in the Captives War series. Humans are captured by the alien Carrix Hive Empire to help battle a deathless enemy, alongside many other alien species captured for the same purpose, against whom they also must compete. From Helen Phillips, we have Hum, out from Mary Sue Rucci in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a science fiction dystopian thriller novel. A woman who loses her job to AI undergoes an experimental procedure that alters her face to make her undetectable to surveillance in a city struggling with climate change and populated by intelligent robots called Hums. From Beth Revis, we have Full Speed to a Crash Landing, out from Daw in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a science fiction romance novella, first in a trilogy. Ada Lamar nearly dies while investigating a wrecked spaceship. Her rescuers are a government salvage crew on a classified mission, and they are not happy to have an unexpected passenger. From Katie Robert, we have Dark Restraint, out from Sourcebooks Casablanca and Trey Paperback ebook and audio. This is a science fiction romance novel, the sixth in the Dark Olympus series, updating Greek myths in a futuristic dystopian city. This time, it's all about Adriadne facing a sham marriage with Dionysus while the Minotaur wants to claim her for himself. I mean, it's nice to be wanted. It's nice to be wanted, but how do you gently turn down a Minotaur? Down, boy? Down? From James Rollins, we have Archangel, out from Morrow in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a secret history science fiction thriller, number 18 in the Sigma Force series. Sigma Force is summoned to investigate the Kremlin's execution of a Vatican archivist, who before his death sent a coded message warning about a dangerous secret buried in the Golden Library of Tsars. From Nikhil Singh, we have Dakini Atoll, out from Luna Press Publishing and trade paperback, hardcover, and ebook. This is a near future cyberpunk science fiction novel sequel to Club Dead. In a new era haunted by doppelganger robots, where the prion eyes plague divides cities into zones of safety, Delilah attains messianic status in the trippy Good Morning Delilah, a game changing show that spawns its own holographic industry. From S.M. Sterling, we have To Turn the Tide, out from Bain in hardcover and ebook. This is a time travel military science fiction adventure novel. A scientist in Austria has a time travel plan to save himself from the end of the world. A team of American grad students and their professor, sent back to the Roman Empire to change history, realize with dismay that actual experience is a lot different from books. I mean, that's why we need books because experience is so complicated. <laughs> from MJ Wasmer, we have debut novel Zero Stars, do not recommend, out from Sourcebooks Landmark and trade paperback ebook and audio. This is a humorous, apocalyptic science fiction novel. Dan Foster is vacationing at an island resort with his girlfriend when the sun explodes. Technically, it would be eight minutes before they felt or saw that because the light that we see is eight minutes old, but you knew that. With the resort suddenly plunged into darkness, Elite guests commandeer all the supplies, and Dan accidentally becomes a beacon of hope for the surviving vacationers. He also finds a small plane. Will he escape with his girlfriend, or become an unlikely hero? Next up horror, we have five titles. From Leslie J. Anderson, we have debut novel The Unmothers, out from Quirk Books and trade paperback ebook and audio. This is a folk horror novel. After the death of her husband and her own terrible accident, a journalist is sent to a small backwards town to investigate the rumor that a horse has given birth to a human baby boy. She goes to investigate and finds two horribly mangled bodies, one horse, one human, and realizes there might be a real story here. From Cody Crowley, we have debut novel Here Lies a Vengeful Bitch, out from Hyperion in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult horror novel. Unlikable girl, Annie Lane, is back from being murdered after a lifetime of being left behind. She's bent on revenge, but first she has to figure out who killed her. From Gabino Iglesias, we have House of Bone and Rain, out from Mulholland Books and hardcover ebook and audio. This is a horror novel about teens in Puerto Rico. 
As a hurricane approaches, a group of teens seek vengeance against an untouchable drug kingpin who murdered one of the group's mothers. And hurricanes bring evil spirits who have their own ideas of order. From Matthew Lyons, we have A Mask of Flies, out from Nightfire in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a horror crime novel. After botching a bank heist, career criminal Anne Heller hides out in the cabin where her mother died, along with her friend and a police officer she's taken hostage. The cabin holds strange relics, and her friend vanishes and turns up not quite alive. From Stuart Neville, we have Blood Like Mine, out from Hell's Hundred in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a horror slash crime thriller novel. A mother tries to protect her adolescent daughter Moonflower on the run from a grisly secret. Meanwhile, an FBI agent hunts a serial killer who has left a trail of bodies throughout the country. His investigation brings him to where mother and daughter are hiding. Next up fantasy, we have 13 titles. From T. Kingfisher, we have A Sorceress Comes to Call, out from Tor in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel, a dark reimagining of The Goose Girl. Cordelia lives a silent, friendless life, oppressed by her evil sorcerer mother, until they unexpectedly move into the manor home of a wealthy older squire and his sister. Cordelia welcomes their hospitality and friendship, but knows that they are going to be her mother's next victims. From Toby Ogunduran, we have In the Shadow of the Fall, out from Tor.com in hardcover and ebook. This is a fantasy novella first in the Guardians of the Gods duology. Ashake is an acolyte eager to serve the Orisha, but the Orisha refuse to speak to her. Desperate as all her peers graduate past her, she attempts to summon and trap an Orisha. Instead, she experiences a terrible vision, comes to the attention of a powerful enemy sect, and is thrust into the center of a centuries-old war. From Case Chow, we have The Girl with No Reflection, out from Delacorte in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fairy tale fantasy. A young woman chosen as the crown prince's bride must travel to the royal palace to meet her new husband. Her world is shaken when she discovers the dark truth the royal family has been hiding for centuries. From P. Jelly Clark, we have The Dead Cat Tale Assassins, out from Tor.com in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel, definitely a tale, about dead assassins, neither cats nor tailed. Got it? Let's keep going. One of the matron of assassins, resurrected guild members, must carry out a job, but the festival of the clockwork king turns the city upside down, and her mission brings her face to face with a past she isn't supposed to remember, and a vow she can't forget. From Sasha Stronach, we have The Sunforge, out from Saga Press and trade paperback ebook and audio. This is a futuristic fantasy novel, the second in the End Song trilogy, inspired by Maori lore. The steel city of Radovan is consumed by fire. There, a magic-wielding pirate crew uncovers an age-old fight between the gods that threatens their world. From Dave Duncan, we have Corridor to Nightmare, out from Shadowpaw Press and trade paperback and ebook. This is a posthumous portal fantasy novel. Village school teacher Agatha, retiring after 40 years, gets dragged into another world with a rigid culture based on magic and violence. From Ali Dyer, we have debut novel Strange Folk, out from Atria and hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy novel. A woman returns to her estranged magical family in Appalachia. There, she gets roped into helping investigate strange phenomena, and a family spell goes wrong and summons something sinister. From S. J. Jones, we have Guardians of Dawn, Ami out from Wednesday Books and hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult fantasy novel inspired by the story of Cinderella, the second in the Guardians of Dawn series, inspired by fairy tales and East Asian elements. Lee Ami is exiled to the outermost west to care for her mentally ill father, whose rantings might actually be dire prophecies. And please, if you're getting something out of this, hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking and which of these books are speaking to you. And if you really want to help this channel out, go back and take a look at our recent videos. We've been doing this YouTube feature for two years now. We love doing it and we really want this YouTube channel to support itself. We're almost there. What we need is your viewing hours to help us get over that 4,000 watch hour finish line. From Greer McAllister, we have The Thirteenth Husband, out from Sourcebooks Landmark and Trade Paperback Hardcover in ebook and audio. This is a historical novel with fantasy elements about real-life heiress, adventurer, and mystic Amy Crocker. Crocker sees a woman in white just before her father dies, and continues to see her before every tragedy in her life as she tears through millions of dollars, four continents, and a hearty collection of husbands. From Abigail O'Brien, we have debut novel Iron Rose, out from Quill and Flame Publishing House and trade paperback hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult fairy tale fantasy novel inspired by Beauty and the Beast. Lydia seeks a royal heir who can unite her country. The Beast watches the destruction of his homeland while shut away in a ruined fortress. Interior illustrations by Tara Marlar. 
From Michelle Segarra, we have Cast in Atonement, out from Mira and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel 19th in the Chronicles of Elantra series. Kaylin has taken in ghostly housemates of unknown species and needs to figure out how to deal with them. Chore chart, maybe? From Wen Spencer, we have Storm Furies, out from Bane in hardcover and ebook. This is a fantasy novel, sixth in the Tinker series. Tinker and her allies fight the Oni invasion of Pittsburgh on Elfholm, and so far, it looks like they are winning, just like the prophecy said. And prophecies never go wrong. From Emily H. Wilson, we have Gilgamesh, out from Titan Books and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel second in the series, The Sumerians, retelling the epic of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, soon to be crowned king of Uruk, travels north to find his homelands in flames and his family on the run. A blood-red moon brings warnings of a new kind of war, and in the far north, the enemies of Sumer are massing. Finally, in anthologies and collections, we have four titles. From Hank Davis and David Afshariad, we have Tomorrow's Troopers, out from Bain, in trade paperback and ebook. This is an anthology of classic stories of science fiction. Tales from the Golden Age through the current era, featuring military, police, and civilians utilizing powered armor. Stories by Joe Haldeman, Christopher Rocio, Jason Cordova, and more. From Abigail Nussbaum, we have Track Changes, Selected reviews out from Briardine Books UK in ebook. This is a non fiction collection of 57 reviews and essays on science fiction and fantasy books, films, and TV organized by theme, covering the last two decades, includes index. From Ruben Reyes Jr., we have There is a Rio Grande in Heaven. Out from Mariner in hardcover ebook and audio, this is a literary collection of seven, one in choose your own adventure form, plus five stories titled An Alternate History of El Salvador, or perhaps the world, all looking at the Central American experience through a mix of science fiction, absurdism, and issues of migration and ethnic identity. From Neil Williamson, we have Nova Scotia Volume 2, New Speculative Fiction from Scotland, out from Luna Press Publishing and Trade Paperback. This is an anthology celebrating the depth and breadth of Scotland's science fiction and fantasy landscape, from its haunted islands to its transformed cities. Includes stories from Ken MacLeod, Eliza Chan, Lorraine Wilson, Morag Edward, David Goodman, John Courtenay Grimwood, Andrew J. Wilson, Pippa Goldschmidt, Dillis Rose, and Eris Young. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending your precious time with us. At Locus, we set out to tell you everything we can about the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. And if you want to know more about what's going on behind the curtain in this industry, Come see us at www.locusmag.com. We are at Locus Mag or Locus Magazine on most platforms. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.